Hey everyone, welcome to Math Talk. I'm your host, Brian Heisler, and today we're going to continue our series on slopes and equations of lines by looking at how to graph equations of lines and how to find equations of lines from graphs. So let's look at a couple examples. Before we get started, I want to show you some information that's helpful when you're looking at the equation of a line. Um, there's two different uh, equations of a line. The most common one I think is called slope intercept form of a line. It looks like this up here, y equals mx plus b. The reason it's called it's slope intercept is because m in your equation is the slope and b is the y intercept. It's where the graph crosses the y axis. And those are really two important things to keep in mind when you're looking at both the equation and how to find the equation from the graph itself. So let's look at a couple examples. We have an example that says graph the equation y equals 4x minus 2. So when I look at this, the first thing I want to think of is what is my y-intercept and what is the slope? So remember in your equation m, y equals mx plus b, m is your slope, b is the y-intercept. So the first thing that I do is I take my b value, my y-intercept, and I graph that on the y-axis. So in this case, it's minus 2 or negative 2. So I'm going to go to my y-axis and draw a dot at minus 2. And then I'm going to use my slope, which is 4, and I'm going to find another point on that line. So a slope of 4 is the same thing as 4 over 1, which means I have to rise 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and run 1. So I'm going to do that. And then technically I can draw my line because you need two points to create a line. What I like to do though is I create a third point just to make it easier to draw the line. So I'm going to follow the same slope, up 1, 2, 3, 4, over 1, and I'm going to draw my line straight through like that. And there you have the equation of y equals, mx, or y equals 4x minus 2. There's your line. Let's look at one more example. And so we have another example that asks you to graph the equation y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 5. So if I look at my slope intercept formula, y equals mx plus b. My y-intercept is positive 5, so I'm going to go to positive 5 on the y-axis and draw a dot. I'm going to use my slope to find another point. So negative 2 is my rise, or you know, fall in this case. Negative 2, go down 1, 2, and then run 1, 2, 3. Rise over run. There's a second point. Again, I like to draw a third point just because. You don't have to, but I do it. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. And then I can go ahead and draw a line through those. This is the graph of the equation y equals negative two-thirds x plus five. So let's look at a couple examples in doing the reverse, where they give us the graph and we have to find the equation. So one of them looks like this. What is the equation of the graph below? So in this case, I like to kind of draw out my formula, y equals mx plus b. All I really need to do is figure out what the b value is and what the slope is, and then the y and x are just y and x. So the b value, I think, is the easiest one. I can just figure out where it crosses the y-axis. In this case, that is 5. Okay. So y equals something x plus 5. I need to figure out my m. And remember, with slope, you can use the visual method of finding slope, rise over run, between two points. I can just take from my one point here, I can count how far do I rise. 1, 2, 3, 4 over how far do I run? 1, 2, 3. My slope is 4 thirds and now my equation is y equals 4 thirds x plus 5. Remember to keep in mind when you're looking at finding the slope, in this case the line goes up to the right so it should be a positive slope. Keep that in mind when you're looking at your answer choices. Let's look at one more example. I have another uh, equation here. What is the equation of the graph below? So again I want to use my formula y equals mx plus b, and let's see, my b value is where it crosses the y-axis, in this case it is 3, positive 3, so positive 3. My slope is going to be negative because the line goes down to the right. I got to go down 1, 2, so negative 2 over, let's see, run 1, 2, 3, negative two-thirds is my slope. This is the equation of that line. So keep in mind when you're looking at slope intercept form of an equation, m is your slope, b is your y-intercept value. When you're looking at writing down the slope, keep in mind does it go up to the right or down to the right. 
I'm going to determine if it's positive or negative. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, it's Brian, your host of Math Talk. I just want to thank everyone for watching my videos on YouTube and following me on social media, on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You know, if you feel like after watching these videos, you still need the better classroom setting or 101, and you live in the Palm Beach County area, come visit our website at www.gedyes.com. Come check out the different locations that we have and find one that suits you best, that's closest to where you are, and you can come take classes. Thanks for watching.